Understanding and being able to identify the difference between half steps and whole steps is critical to the study of music theory. While the distance from each line and space on the staff looks identical, they are not all the same distance apart in terms of pitch. It is easiest to show this concept using the piano keyboard. The white keys on the piano are labeled A through G. The letter names and positions on the keyboard correspond with the lines and spaces on the staff. In treble clef, the lines and spaces are labeled like this. Each pitch on the keyboard is exactly one half step apart. Thus, if we start on the white note C and raise the pitch by one half step, we would play the black note directly to the right. If we start on the white note C and lower the pitch by one half step, we would play the white note directly to the left. You will notice there are no black keys between the pitches B and C, as well as E and F. This means that the distance between B and C is a half step, and the distance between E and F is a half step. Half step movement from any other starting pitch will always involve one black key and one white key. We name the black keys depending on their relationship to the white keys. A sharp indicates raising a named pitch by a half step. A flat indicates lowering a pitch by a half step. Thus, the black key to the right of the white note G is called G sharp. If we approach this exact same black key from the other side, we call it A flat. Thus, G sharp and A flat are called enharmonic pitches. Every black key on the keyboard has two common names. In actuality, all pitches have more than one name. Some are less common than others, but the rules of half steps, sharps, and flats hold true throughout. For example, if I start on the white key E and I want to raise it to E sharp, I would move one half step to the right, which happens to be the white note F. That means that the note F and E sharp are enharmonic pitches. Understanding all of that, we can now introduce our next rule, and that is that a whole step is always made up of two half steps. If we start on the white key G, a whole step up from that would be the white key A, because this distance involves two half steps. Starting on G, a whole step down would be the white key F. If we start on the white key B, a whole step up actually lands on a black key. It still follows the whole step rule by involving two half steps. The resulting note a whole step above B is C sharp. When you look at the music staff, it is not as obvious where the half steps fall. The distance between B and C is a half step, but the distance between F and G is a whole step. Therefore, it is important to visualize the keyboard when you are learning this concept. After enough practice and involvement, this concept will become more automatic.